Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. <clears throat> Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. It's cold out. Uh, me and Mr. Felix are out here working, filling up these planters for you guys so you can see what's going on. Um, we put in the first circuit, or the first uh, timer, the zone that we have for our timer, and this is zone number one, in which I think we have about 18 planters. And in each planter, we put about uh, 20 to 50 pea plants. And then we filled them in with a little bit of uh, Swiss chard. We're now going to take these planters, we just started them. You see the tan in the bottom of the pot. That means that we're washing them out and the soil, all the debris from the soil is coming off of the planter. Uh, two types of soil. This dark, rich soil was from my planter from last year. We grew strawberries. You grew like four different crops in the soil. Strawberries, we grew lettuce, we grew kale. This one of our tall planters. We took that soil and we're actually using it in the curved planter series. And Mr. Felix is now filling up uh, the planters. We had the mushroom soil that's there, but because we're growing lettuce, we realized that it's really good to put this fine soil down because those lettuce seeds would love this soil. Mr. Felix, can you tell us how rich this soil is? What's... This soil is very nice, uh, dry, wet, and uh... I think all the components for the uh, vitamins that the plant will eat are here. They are here. Mm. And so that's what we're doing now. He's filling it up. We're going to start adding our lettuce seeds. So we have a number of seeds that we're going to uh, start uh, putting in these planters. You know, it's a little dirty over there. I hate to go over there, guys. I like to clean up my stuff before you see it. But uh, when we get to clean up, everything's sparkling. But you're going to have lettuce growing out of those planters. And it's going to be so, so gorgeous. It's going to set this whole area off with kale, lettuce, all my microgreens. That's what I'm growing right now. So we're going to grow hundreds of microgreens right now to make this thing work out. And this is my seasonal crop. So this is my uh, spring crop. And they'll be able to produce me um, snow uh, snap peas, uh, Swiss chard. Well, it's just sure it takes a while to grow, but it's to back up when the, uh, I uh, harvest the peas. But the lettuce, the kale, and uh, let's go take a look at what we have. So you guys can, uh, isn't that soil gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? Damn, it's so rich. It is so rich. It just rolls right off your hands, okay? See, it looks not really dirt and, and wet or anything else. It's just really, really great soil. Look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Man, it's gorgeous. Mr. Felix is setting the ring down and getting a feel for it to the level. Tell us, Mr. Felix, what 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 about the ring? Where are you placing it at, and how are you placing it? The ring, you push it down a little bit uh, farther down that way. You're going to put the dirt mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. so the plants are like in the middle. Okay. And. Uh, you're giving like two inches. Okay. You're giving one inch to put the seeds on. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top of that, you put uh, the dirt. Okay. So the ring had to be lower than um, the seed. Oh, lower than the seed? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So Mr. Felix, how would, how would I plant a seed in here as opposed to planting a plant? How, where, where would you point out I need to put seeds at as opposed to if I had a whole plant and I want to put a whole plant in there? Where would I put the plant at and the seeds at inside of the pot? Well, you can put it like in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, like a clockwise. Okay. Like giving it like two inches from the pot. Okay. Like this. A big plant you're saying, right? A big plant like okay. here, here. Oh, you yeah. mean little seedlings, little seedlings, Seed. okay. Or, okay. Or either seedlings. plant, okay. or, or either the plant. I'm sorry, but I forgot, I was talking about a bush. Oh. And then, but you're saying a seedling you would plant around in a circular format. Right, a bush you could put it right in the middle. Right in the middle, okay, okay, okay. But you would do a circular around the, for the seedlings, correct sir? For the seed, yeah. The little tiny plants. Uh, the, oh, or little tiny plants that you buy in the store or you grow okay. up uh, after you put the seed down. Yes. Uh, you could p place it, like two inches from the edges of the bladder. Okay. Like two inches of bar, two inches, 
two inches, ah. two inches, two inches, two inches, and two inches from here. Mm. And at the same time, you can put another in, another row in here. Hold it. What are you trying to say, man? You can you, you put more than one plant in this planter? Of course. How many can go in there? Um, in here, you can put like 12 around, like the, the clock, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to one inch or two apart, mm -hmm. and uh, two inches inside. Okay. And you can make another row. Mm. Like on the clockwise. Uh, I guess you can put like 24 uh, uh, plants in there. Wow, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Yeah. Well, listen, let's take a look at what we're going to plant today. We, um, we're cleaning up a bit. We're running our lines. This is what I have for you guys. Um, yes, sir. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So we're going to do the different types of lettuce. We have the celery seeds. I want to try celery seeds. I don't know if it's the right season for them. I love celery seeds. I cannot imagine going through life without celery seeds. We have the winter density lettuce. So we have about, uh, I don't know, three different types of lettuce that we're going to throw into these planters. The winter density. We have the winter density, green iceberg lettuce, and then we have all year round lettuce. And we're going to try all three of these and this torpedo pot. I love the germination rate is 90%. Germination rate is 90%. And that's why I try Urban Farmer. I like their seeds. It's proven to be very successful for me. We also have uh, kale. And I'm going to do a lot of kale. I ordered a lot of kale this year. And uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, Malabar Red Stem. And I'm excited about that. I've never grown the Malabar Red Stem before. So I'm going to really give that a, uh, a chance. So I have that, and I have the noble spinach seeds. This noble spinach seeds is our big, giant spinach seeds. We're going to huge plants. I'm going to try that this year. I want to Mr. Felix, when he finishes putting together the uh, torpedoes, we're going to have hundreds of these little things all over the place in the torpedo and show you guys how to uh, how develop and grow it. And so we also have an additional lettuce seed that the... Uh, butter crunch lettuce that we're going to do so we're pretty much uh doing pretty good we got a lot of seeds we're going to put them in and uh let's let you guys see us put some of the seeds well when we're ready to put them in we'll show you all the films of what we're doing daryl addison torpedopot.com daryl addison torpedopot.com